Hello everyone, welcome back to Strategic Command. I'm Paradox Gamer playing. Thank you for joining me here. So uh, yeah, let's see where we are. Let's start with some diplomacy. So Turkey went towards the Allies last, last turn. So I'm gonna put a chit in there. Try and get them back. And then I'll put the remaining two chits into Spain. So we can get them fully on our side. There we go. So we have the uh, US light cruiser out here and I am going to attack it. So let's get the tier bits over there. That was nice. And then the Bismarck. No damage. Alright, let's just get them back. Actually, the tier pits. No, cannot reach. Sure, and let's get the remaining cruiser out and also the destroyer. That's my entire navy right there, except for the subs. Which I think I'll just stay put. I do have some subs here that are not upgraded. And since I have so many of them, I might as well send, send them back one at a time to upgrade. And this one should actually also reinforce. Okay, on the ground. Uh, let's see. Two damage. Yeah, let's just speed up on these guys first. But only three damage. bring down these guys and one more. I think I want the headquarter up in Oxford instead and let's try and beat up on this guy yeah let's just finish it off let's see if there's anybody in Norwich no so let's take Norwich and Cambridge Conquest of Essex is done. Gotta move these guys over here and over here. Now let's take Sheffield. And I can't get to Manchester, but I can move up to Leeds. There we go. There might be uh, defenders in Manchester. These guys will transport back to Calais and the next turn they will operate from there actually the, the planes can now operate I've completely forgotten about them because I haven't been able to use them for a while got the US interceptors and one damage use the other bombers as well Two damage to the interceptors and one to the core. So that's all I can do. I'm gonna go for Bristol next turn and we're gonna head for Manchester as well. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. I should use this out zooming a little bit more. It gives a better overview of things. So we come down to Sicily and it's time to bomb these guys in Malta again oh it's now raining here yep so 
There will be no bombing. Let's see if we can intercept that uh, sub with our destroyer. Nothing there. I will finish off the uh, heavy cruiser Kent in Alexandria. And let's bring the sub back as well. In North Africa, same old, same old. Attack this corpse. Hmm. I wonder if I can take them out with Italian units. Can these guys reinforce? Yes. Hmm. I I doubt it, and I, I don't want to block the way. Um, so actually, this one can move out of the way. So let's try and move the armor up. Yes, that worked. And then we can reinforce the German armor. Also, these guys. Get them back there. Get the headquarter forward. And that was North Africa. So let's see if we can bring this one down here. Four damage. Okay, with a lucky shot, I could take Athens now. Nice. That should be the end of Greece. Keep firing on these guys. Almost got it. Alright, zoom out a little bit. So Greece should fold. That would free up some units. We can move up here. So the this is snowing all over the place. The Hungarians are coming down this way. so that the Soviets don't come rushing in. Can I bomb in snow? I cannot. No. Mistakenly click that. Alright, so first of all, let's finish all these pockets up here. My attack values are severely reduced. this weather. That can be seen by these pathetic attacks. I need to bring another guy up there just to finish it off. Do some attacks on this guy as well. Ineffective. Ineffective. This guy, I think we might have a shot at eliminating. No. So we got three points. And we need these guys over here. Let's see. Let's come back to the crossroad. That was the failed attack. That was better. And these guys will just stay put, maybe move up here. 
Yeah, and then up here. Ah, do, 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 do. He will just reinforce it back up. Let's see, this is entrenchment level two. You could get the entrenchment level down to zero. See if I can get it down to zero. Oh no. Yes, it's it's zero now, so maybe next turn these guys can link up here. But that makes no sense. There's no reason to do that. These guys are now fully upgraded and they cannot reinforce. Smolensk is an objective. I just don't think we have the uh, power to take it. Kiev should definitely be possible. So what do we want here? We want Chernigov, this town right here. Let's bring down this armor. And get the headquarter closer. I can reinforce back to full speed. Full speed, full strength. Uh, let's see if we can finish off these tanks. Yep. Get these guys up here. Guys will go there. And these guys will reinforce. Put the headquarter here. Further up, we got darkest builds next. Uh, last time, Polotsk is uh, is an option. I gotta, why can't I get this one in? One, two, three, four, five. Does it belong? Oh, it belongs to another headquarter. Detach. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Apparently, you cannot detach and attach at the same time. Okay, let's head for Polotsk. So, can it at least reinforce? Yes. The rest are nine or ten, so that should be fine. Let's bring the max up here. Failed attack. Twice. Gotta bring that entrenchment level down a little bit. Uh, these guys can't move far anyway, so let's just up, uh, reinforce them instead, get the artillery forward. Headquarter moves there. In the far north. Move up this way. You can see Talon. There was somebody in there as well. Nope. Okay, I'll take it then. Bring the headquarter up here. Defensive poster over here. So go for Tallinn and this town over here and then head to Nava. The Finns. The Finns are not fully upgraded. This guy needs to upgrade. The rest are, except for the headquarter. Can only reinforce by one point. 
So we're going to reinforce by two. Let's come down this way. Bring this one back. And the rest will stay. Further up north. These guys could do some trouble, but not here. It has to be over here then. Because it's too far without uh, supplies to go through here. I can also go down and take this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that would make sense. To grab that one. And then just uh, move back up. That would prevent the Soviets from coming through this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go through that way. Let's grab this town. And dig in there. There's also the guy in Norway. It was upgraded last turn, and this turn it's getting reinforced. Up to eight. And that leaves us with 415 points, so let's purchase. Uh, let's see, we have the Finns now. Hungary now. Hungary can get tanks, so, so can Romania. But then I might as well just build my own tanks. I can still build 14 armies, so that's that's a thing. Uh, heavy tanks, how much would that cost? 255. Oh, by the way, I finished my logistics. Uh, da -da -da -da. Reduces operational movement and regular transport by 10% and increase the build limit for headquarters and all types of transports. Um, do I need more headquarters? I can build two more, I think that's enough. So I don't necessarily need logistics. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, I think we'll buy units instead. Heavy tanks comes to mind. Fully upgraded would cost 375. I can afford that, so let's build that. Coming in June. Italians just saving up for more research, I think. So uh, I guess that's it. Let's see if I forgot something. Well, these um, these guys didn't move at all. But there's no need to. So let's uh, end the turn. We've got a decision to make. There is a potential threat of amphibious invasion from the Western Allies along the northern coast of France. It is therefore recommended that we strengthen our defenses by constructing static coastal gun batteries near Brest, Le Havre, Amiens, and Calais. These batteries could prove crucial in repelling any invasion, as they are armed with formidable naval guns that will automatically attempt to engage enemy amphibious units that attempt to land. The construction will cost 200 points, at 50 points a turn, for 4 turns. Would you like to authorize the construction of these coastal gun batteries as part of our Atlantic Wall? No. I'll rather save the 200 points. Amphibious invasion is not imminent. surrenders. Italy plunders 141 points.
The Graf Zeppelin Carrier Commission for duty. Nice. Soviet winter strikes, whatever that means. Oh, that just means strength losses in random places. I wish I could see that, but uh, I guess I'll just have to watch the damages afterwards. All right, go government signed the Declaration of the United Nations, calling for complete victory over the Axis. Oh, look, <laughs> that sound. So, 755 for Germany. And 94 because of the expeditionary force for Italy. Calculating supplies. So let's see what the Allies can do now. I expect counter, uh, Soviet counterattacks during the winter. See about that. Artillery in Manchester. That's the uh, anti aircraft artillery, though. More Russian armies in the north. And replenishments, including Kiev. Lots of operations, uh, operating units. Maybe the uh, Siberians have arrived? Or oh, they're just shifting units around. Usual bombing in Africa. My fighters take less and less damage. It seems, anyway. Now we're facing five armies down there. Here comes the destroyer. Let's see if it moves away. There's another destroyer. That was a nice hit from the destroyer. And here comes another one. They attack en masse. And another one. Four destroyers. Okay. Ah, the Soviet Navy is harassing me in Finland. And there's the sub. My destroyer is incoming, so hopefully I can do something about that. Ooh, a battleship. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, they bring the anti-tank units forward. Maybe they ran out of course. The Romanians are pretty much dug in here. So they will hold out. Hungarians are on the way. Plus reinforcements. That Romanian army up there is a bit out of the way and should probably head back down south to the headquarter. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Not a big deal though.
There's the sub. Nice. I think I can take that out with my destroyer. At least I can try. Oh, lots of Soviets. That must be the Siberians. That's a huge force coming right there. Coastal Command AHQ, Iceland formed. are raided. The Normandy ocean liner mysteriously sinks in New York Harbor. Yeah, that is mysterious since I don't have any subs over there. How did that happen? Alright, some losses to the UK and USSR. I keep getting this uh, Yugoslavian resistance and I already have troops over there so I don't know why. The Indian nationalist leader Supas Chandra Bose is keen to form a free India legion to help liberate this country from British rule and he has asked if he can recruit among the many Indians currently held in our prisoner of war camps. If we agree it will cost us 15 points to equip this formation and it will provide us with a garrison unit. Would you like to authorize the formation of a free India Legion for 15 points? Yes. Free Indian Legion formed in Berlin. Right, we got a garrison in Berlin. And we got units coming in. Nice. I really need those. Let's see where we can put them. I have to click it first. Yeah, we need them up here. Um, so this is the closest I can get them. And then the Hungarians. We'll need them down here. Oh, they have to start in Hungary, okay. And Romanians. Probably have to start in Romania, but that's very much closer. Start one there. And one there. I still feel okay down here in the south, despite this little counter-attack. We have plenty of units coming in here and plenty of units up here. It's a little bit more distressful. Look at that. It calls for swift taking of Talon to free up those units. And these units down here need to swing up to engage up here. Luckily there's no attack in the middle where I'm actually more weak so also got some uh, work to do taking out these destroyers using my navy and this sub will head back home um, so yeah lots of things happening thank you for watching guys I'll put a break in here take care and uh, see you next time